All right, listen, I've made way too many videos at this point talking about the sort of, you know, the meltdown, whatever you want to call it, with Mahomes and the, you know, the refs and all of that stuff. Uh, Patrick Mahomes said himself, it's another game where we're talking about the refs. Well, let's not talk about the refs. Let's talk about the game itself, which was not overly pretty for Kansas City. It's another game where they end up, you know, not being able to light up the stat sheet. And this has been a Bills defense that, with the injuries they've had, hasn't been great this year. So let's talk about what's going wrong with this Chiefs offense. Why are they still struggling here? Let's start off with this play. It's a lot of stuff like this. I feel like this team, they feel so close. They really do. And like, I feel like there still is that potential of things just completely getting turned around. Uh, this play, it's zone coverage, and you have a receiver who's going to be getting into a gap in coverage right here. So that's where you're going to look. Watch as Mahomes takes the snap. He's going to look down the field. He's going to fire down the field. And there's a window. It's not a huge window at all, but there is a window, and it's Mahomes, right? Mahomes can make these plays, and as you see, it is a pretty well-thrown ball. They just weren't quite able to get the completion there. I couldn't quite see the uh, the number on that one. I'm not sure exactly which receiver that was who wasn't able to make it, uh, but you know, that's kind of a thing, right? It's sometimes Mahomes will put the ball in a catchable spot, but there is a bit of Sometimes that's all you can do as a quarterback is put it in a catchable spot. Your receiver has to go make the play and also give credit to Buffalo for being able to knock the ball loose there. So, you know, good stuff there. But again, that's part of the part of the issue so far for the Chiefs. Heading over here, there's been some, you know, stuff made of Travis Kelsey and the, you know, I think people talked about he hasn't been as good this year, and, and I kind of agree. I don't think he's been quite as good this year, but he's still been debatably the best tight end in football. He's just like that good that like his down year is still maybe the best tight end in football, and this is a play where this just shows his value because we saw the Bills blitz Mahomes a bit in this game and play man coverage, which is a thing that teams almost never did. And one of the reasons why is because of Kelsey. You have to cover him one-on-one. -on -one. Well, as you see, Mahomes reads the coverage, instantly gets it over there. And in fairness, you had a safety covering him. They were kind of disguising it, but that disguise did not fool Mahomes whatsoever. He's so quick at processing things. Kelsey's so good in open space. Uh, you want to make sure that you can kind of take that guy out of the, the you know, area. And quite frankly, you have to think that if the Chiefs are going to win a Super Bowl, which that's their goal, right? Win a Super Bowl. That's what they should be looking towards. Uh, every year to have Mahomes, the goal is to win a Super Bowl. It's going to be with the strength of Kelsey, right? I mean, he means so much to this offense. I think just right now, uh, maybe he means a bit too much to this offense. They might be a little bit more uh, complete. And I got to be honest, Mahomes, I don't think it's, it's one of the things where it's like, I think Mahomes has been a top five quarterback in football this year, but that's a down season for him, right? His usual season is like MVP candidate or just straight up winning the MVP. That's almost what we expect from him. Well, there's been some opportunities that he's missed uh, down the stretch here. Uh, you know, he uh, this one's a good example where it's going to be a zone coverage play on this one. It's Rasheed Rice, who's actually been a good player. Again, one thing they just need to do more, I think, is, I mean, he should be out there a ton. Like, he should be, like, their number one receiver at this point with Kelsey being the number one option as at the tight end position. Watch as you see Mahomes takes the snap. He's going to, you know, fake a quick pass to Tony, and you see Rasheed Rice is open. I mean, there's a window here. This is a touchdown. However, Mahomes just misses him. And there's been a few of those. Again, every quarterback misses throws. It is what it is. But there have been a few, uh, I would say, uncharacteristic mistakes from Mahomes this season that I think the expectation is those will clear up come playoff time and you don't have to worry about it. But again, it's like if you're playing Buffalo in the playoffs or if you're playing, you know, Miami or Baltimore, or even if you get to the Super Bowl, playing San Francisco, can't really afford to make these kind of mistakes. You can't beat yourselves here. Heading over here, you know, uh, talk about Rasheed Rice. I want to mention there still are some really good plays. And, you know, there still are moments where you're like, oh, yeah, they are the Chiefs. And that's kind of what's maybe uh, frustrating if you're a Chiefs fan, but also still why you're not, like, devastated if you're a Chiefs fan is you see the flashes. You see the moments of greatness uh, with this, you know, team. It's Rasheed Rice, one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside. As you see, Mahomes is going to take the snap. It's, you know, at this point, not wide open. I mean, Mahomes is trusting Rice on this play, and look at where he's going to put the ball. Watch as he kind of throws it back towards Rice. Uh, really a, a unique ball placement. You, know, I don't, you usually don't see it there, uh, but I think he just trusted Rasheed Rice to win the one-on-one -on -one matchup right there, and that was in the key spot. That's what set up the eventual Travis Kelsey play that did not count. 
But this is the kind of thing that they're able to do. And again, giving Rasheed Rice more snaps, which I have started to do, uh, I think can go a long way. And I think that can be a key factor in this offense looking better. Is it going to look elite? I don't know. But is it going to look better if they do this? I, I think so. I think there's at least that potential. Uh, because again, it hasn't, hasn't been an awful offense either. It just hasn't been as dominant as we typically expect from them. But going over here, I still just see too many plays like this. I do. Where it's going to be man coverage. And again, Teams used to never play man coverage, and there's, you know, uh, some reason for it, right? I mean, so first, when Mahomes entered the league immediately, people didn't realize what he was just yet, and if you tried to play cover one, he would throw the ball down the field to Tyreek Hill for a big touchdown, right? That was kind of what always happened, so teams had to play cover two. So then you would either play cover two zone or cover two man or maybe like quarters coverage or something. But like those would be the main two things you would see teams do. Uh, if you played cover two zone, they would just pick you apart with kind of zone busters. And if you played cover two man, well, then it really comes down to you need a receiver to win. And in this situation, it's second and 15. You just you had the Kadarius Tony penalty. So now everyone's lined up on sides. That's nice. Uh, you don't need to get it all back here, right? Second and 15 and you're in, uh, you know, four down territory at this point so it's almost like a first and 15 and not the end of the world at all however when Mahomes takes the snap he's gonna look down the field and he's starting to scramble and this is just something that we've seen far too much is guys can't get open here and they need players to be able to get open more consistently and you know it's kind of feels like you know Mahomes look towards Kelsey kind of feels like if Kelsey isn't getting open nobody's getting open and that's a real issue on this play, Mahomes tries to scramble out and nearly gets sacked, somehow gets rid of the football, really sends a prayer. I mean, that's a, a, a risky play. I, I don't think it's necessarily a bad play, just a risky one because uh, it could have been intercepted. Uh, but you know, just doing what he can to get the ball, you know, avoid the sack, definitely worked out for Mahomes there. G great job to avoid the sack. No one avoids sacks better than he does. At the same time, though, the reason why he had to avoid a sack to begin with is because no one got open and he had to try and make something else happen. You want to see the ball getting out of his hands quicker, but for that to happen, guys have to get open quicker. So that's the issue with the Chiefs right now. Is and you know I, I didn't really mention it too much in this video, but I mentioned it in previous videos. Uh, definitely the you know I didn't think the tackle play was terrible this week, but that's been an issue this season. So it's like to be honest. If we're just thinking logically, it's been an actively bad receiving core this season. It's been a not great pass block. I mean, the pass block has been okay, but it's been a not great offensive line. Like, it'd be crazy. It's almost impressive that the Chiefs offense has been as good as it has been, given all the issues right here. And it's entirely because of Mahomes. Listen, Chiefs still have an elite defense, and Chiefs still have the best player in the world. So to count them out and say that they can't win a Super Bowl or anything like that would be silly. But... For a team that at one point was Super Bowl favorites, I think it'd be kind of crazy to call them Super Bowl favorites now. There are some real issues that I don't know if they're going to get fixed and they're running out of time to fix them, but you, you know, you can never quite count them out either. So that's kind of what I think about all of this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the problems with the Kansas City Chiefs? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.